Creating has never been this easy or this much fun before. Create amazing drawings and works of art. Hi, it's Jen Winterose, aka the Swedish Geek Ball. Again, it's day five of December. And uh, what does that mean? It means it's time again. Moving on to the calendar. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so let's see what we got on day five, okay? Nice, because I recorded everything up until day four pretty quickly. So it's been a little, ooh. Does this feel like it's going to be another surface? This is pretty big. And it's kind of half smushed in. But let's see what this is going to be. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like whatever. Okay. Day five. Acrylic pad, four by four inch of acrylic paper, 16 sheet. The surface is mini but mighty. Everything you get in the calendar works wonderfully on this versatile little pad. Oh, oh, neat. Heavyweight, glue bound, ideal for acrylic and oil painting. Interesting. I don't do a ton of acrylic painting and I don't do any oil painting, unfortunately, because of my allergies and my breathing issues. I used to oil paint. I oil painted back in college and uh, when I was young with my grandmother because she was an oil painter. But nowadays I wouldn't be able to handle any of the chemicals that you need to use with the oil paint and a lot of times the oil paint itself, uh, which is a shame because there is a lot of stuff you can do with oil paint. There is a lot of stuff you can do with oil paint. I realize as I am fondling the microphone, I guess we'll find out if the microphone is working because it'll make weird noises. Anyway, now that I have completely distracted myself, uh, yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with oil paint because it's very slow drying. You've got a lot of blending options that you don't have with acrylic and even watercolor and stuff like that. Um, I do want to try the slow dry acrylic. Um, that would be lots of fun. Look at this. Look at this cute ass little thing. Now since it's an acrylic pad, I definitely am not going to try like any of my gouache on it or anything. It's definitely straight up for acrylic and oil because it's not going to have sizing for water-based media, really. Ooh, but that's cute. 16 sheets of 4 by 4 I like that. That's, that's, that makes me happy. I'm still really curious of what these really tiny ones are. <laughs> All right, well, that's day five. I'm gonna go ahead and record a few more, um, just because, again, uh, starting on the 9th, I am going to be unavailable, so I'm just going to record ahead and get some stuff already set up. Uh, each day I'm gonna record several ahead, I think, just to get myself through uh, my recovery from surgery. And then when I come back from surgery and do the later ones, that should be interesting too, because I'm going to look a little different from the chest area. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that was day five of the Arteza calendar. Let's see you on day six. Amazing!